My name is Melanie Gray Morris, and I'm the manager of policy, advocacy, and communications here at ADEA. I've been here for about a year, and it's been a very exciting year. We've really enjoyed communicating with you over social media, through our e-newsletters and emails. I've particularly enjoyed the conversations I've had with many of you. This past year, our policy team has really focused on building a solid foundation in four key areas. The first is responding to your policy needs and concerns. This includes the multitude of COVID-19 updates and the ongoing advocacy for permanent telehealth. We have argued and continue to argue to policymakers that telehealth is a vital way for you to deliver essential health care, not just during the pandemic, but into the future as well. I've spoken directly to a number of you about specific issues and concerns that you've had arise throughout the year. And we'll continue to work on those and I look forward to hearing from many of you, issues that may come up in the next year. The second area of focus has been increasing access. We want all people living with diabetes to have access to a CDE from the point of diagnosis or even before if they're diagnosed with prediabetes. And we want them to be able to see a CDE as frequently as they need to throughout their diabetes journey. We also wanna increase the coverage of CDEs. We wanna increase that through private health insurance cover, but also through increased Medicare coverage, and we're continue to work with that. And finally, we're committed to raising your profile with key stakeholders in parliament and with other peak organizations and government, government officials. We want every parliamentarian and government official to understand what a CDE is and how you contribute to the health system and the health of Australians. This year alone, we've participated in meetings with Chief Allied Health Officers, the Department of Aged Care, the National Disability Insurance Scheme, other peak bodies, and more. In fact, this year alone, we've already had 18 policy submissions and responses done on your behalf, and we aren't done yet. Next year, we'll continue working in these four key areas. We'll also be leveraging the political climate, particularly the election, to campaign for the issues that matter to you. We'll also be doing some increased direct increased marketing that we hope will result in an increase of referrals and awareness of CDEs and the important work that you do every day. Hi, my name's Tony Stubbs. I'm the Chief Operating Officer for ADEA. I've been here since January this year um, and I've seen significant change in the organisation um, in that period. Um, again, I've got a really exciting job. I get to help support the ICT and the finance, insurance, all those wonderful things that no one really wants to think about. Um, but I think it's still exceptionally important in ensuring that we actually have a great solid organisation. When I first started, uh, I was told, and I completely agree, is that we're here to support our members. Everything we need to do covers that lens. So again, looking at all our systems, our policies, our procedures and what we do as a team um, is really important in ensuring again that we can support our members. So some of the things we've done this year, again really exciting great stuff, um, we moved to the cloud and we've also moved to Microsoft 365 and in short that means we're a safer environment, um, we're a more collaborative environment um, and actually quicker environment. So again if our team can work safer, quicker um, and more collaboratively then clearly we can help support our members more so. In terms of our finance, again, worked really closely with our um, finance provider just to ensure that we do have all of the systems, the tools, and we know where we're spending our money and we know where our money's coming in. So the board then can make some really great informed decisions around looking at what investment we have, again, to support our members. Our website, we're continually trying to work on our website. We've done some look and feel and some technical changes. It's still a work in progress, um, but really confident that we've got a, putting a great platform to ensure that a lot of those systems and around our website are set up so that we can better support our members as well. We've actually got some really exciting things for next year um, in terms of our member services engagement. Um, and I'm sure someone else will mention those, that wonderful platform that we're looking at for next year, but also our learning management system. Again, upgrading that, making it look better and feel and actually providing a really good service so people can actually get the education that they actually need in, the, in a timely manner as well. Um, we've also worked with the board around clearly identifying some KPIs for the organisation, um, but also around our membership. Again, what members we want again, how are we going to get them, what are our students, transition, conversion um, numbers. So really get the board focused on, again, the key important things that will actually drive the business to ensure that we better support our members. Again, that's really what we want to try and achieve. 
Most of you would be aware also that we were unified this year with Diabetes Australia, um, which is I think an important significant step forward. And again, already we've actually saved uh, money on insurance and actually broadened out our scope for our insurance. So that's one thing already um, we can say has been a positive um, out of that unification. In 2021, we had the opportunity to unify with Diabetes Australia and members overwhelmingly voted in favour. This will provide us with a stronger, united voice to government, which will be important in the 2022 federal election, especially with the expectation of tighter economic circumstances following the pandemic. ADA and its members will have a much greater say in Diabetes Australia as we have a member on the board. We have a Health Professional Advisory Council to provide input and advice to the Board of Diabetes Australia. We will also have a greater say in Diabetes Australia's research program and more opportunities for CDEs to participate in research. Management integration across unified organisations will also help to streamline what we do and reduce duplication and costs. Unification will balance health professional input with the input of people living with diabetes across Australia so that we can more effectively ensure the best possible outcomes for people living with diabetes. Look, I'm really looking forward to the next 12 months. We've still got a lot of things we want to do um, and continue to work on. Um, but I think, again, the foundation's been uh, laid exceptionally well um, to ensure that we can actually support our members, which is what we're here for. Thank you.